Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I have a few things I want to share with you. I got my Pay It Forward from Tiffany. And we there was a thing going along going on, on Facebook where um, you would post um, a pay it forward, meaning that you would make um, you know just a little something, something had made for the first five comments on your post. And then you had to post it, and it just kept going and going and going. And um, I commented on Tiffany's, and so she made mine, and she did such a good job. This is so cute. She made me a tag, and she's really good with her Copic coloring. Look at this beautiful tag. And she's Mama Tiffy on YouTube. And she has an Etsy store. She sells beautiful things and kits. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much, Tiffany. And she sent me a little extra a tag with some lace and some stick pins. And I got this a while back, but I wasn't feeling well, so um, I didn't really know what it was. I just opened it and then seen that that's what it was. So I had to show that. I was also in um, Scrap Chica's Blog Hop um, yesterday. And this was my project. I made an Easter purse. It was um, Easter springtime. Um, and I had a lot of fun making this. And I did the drawing for it this morning. And here's the little wallet I made for it. And it's the same template from the Vintage Purse Swap on LSH. I asked Patty if it was okay if I used it. She said yes. And Patty from Scrappinings on YouTube is the one that um, created the template. I also finished my fairy bottle for my partner. And here she is. Let's try to get a good angle so you can see her face. Um, and I just tried to do lots of whites. Her name's Leanna. And um, she was captured on um, March 5th, 2011, and her speci special powers are love. So she brings love wherever she goes. So she's going to my partner. And I think my partner is in Switzerland. Okay. And so on this one... I just try to stay with the whites and creams and I did the back, I put lace, the flat lace I have on the back and then I went over it with um, silver rub and buff and then um, white pearl paint so that it have a lighter background. Isn't she cute? Let's see if I can get a good angle so you can see her face. I made her wings out of, um, at the dollar stores they have these, um, you know the little like um, tool circles? Well this was an iridescent um, paper. Excuse me, I gotta sneeze. Ooh! Ooh Excuse me. <laughs> um, so I tried to use my Martha Stewart butterfly punch. Mm-mm. Did not work. So I had to draw wings, but if you can see the ir iridescence there, it's awesome. Um, I drew the wings and then had to cut it out. And then I, I doubled the layers because it was really, really thin. And then I added a flower in there with some diamond dust and a big bobble. And then just, you know, added stuff here and there and then put a big blob of a, of a um, boa on the bottom. And then I just took this, um, like, little tutu trim. It goes down so that when it sits flat, it's got a little skirt down there. So that is for my partner. And I also started coloring. Yay, yay, yay. Misty sent me nine Copic markers. And so this is my first actual Copic coloring and paper piecing. Jordy, my sweet sister, told me about paper piecing. So I did it. Um, and so this one, you know, I need practice, but you know, this is my first one um, with actual just Copic colors. So I'm pretty happy with how she turned out for being my first one, but you know, there's more to go and I need some more Copics. So I'm not going to go crazy though. I just, that's an expensive hobby <laughs> and I already have one. <laughs> so here's a fairy I did and I did her all in Lindy's 
I love it, love it, love it, love it. She's adorable. And then this one I did in Lindy's, but I did her face in Copics because I, you know, if the face gets too shimmery, it's just going to, you're not going to be able to see it with all the shimmer. So there is, there she is. And there is some events coming up on LSH, a Mother's Day card challenge for the men. I think it's going to be absolutely cute. Um, I've already spoke to my husband. He is going to do it. Here, I'll give you something to look at while I announce the events. Um, so what you do is you just get your spouse, significant other, boyfriend, husband, adult son, um, and have them make a Mother's Day card. doesn't matter who it's for, their mom, grandma, sister, wife, whatever. Um, and you can film them making it, or you can just upload the finished um, card, the photo of it on LSH. And then I have a, I'm going to make a picnic table recipe album. You guys, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm actually going to have kits available for it, but I have some time to plan. It's going to be an actual picnic table that will stand on your counter, and it's going to have an easel back so it will prop up when you want to use it as a recipe album. And the pages will flip, and that's why we are doing a, um, a recipe swap as well, so that we can fill our picnic table recipe albums with these recipes. So there's a recipe swap, and you're going to pick two of your favorite recipes, and you're going to, there's going to be six people in each group, so keep, you're going to keep two of your recipes that you've made. You're going to embellish them, make them gorgeous, just leave the half inch on the very top, um, uh, open for binding, and then, let's see what else is coming up. I've got a mini album swap coming in May. I wanted to let everyone know that all of my swaps are open international and local, so be prepared um, if you're paired up with, um, if, it's a, if it's a partner swap, be prepared to pay a little extra postage. Wouldn't be much um, to send internationally, but like the recipe swap, though, you know, um, you won't be paying extra postage because everybody's going to send it to me and then I'm going to disperse them. So if you're an international participant, all you're going to do is you're going to send me your extra packaging or your address label and then I will just PayPal you for the shipping once I've shipped it, okay? That way you don't have to worry about sending stamps and all that. Okay, so hopefully that clears up some stuff. Um, we are at, let's see, the tally. We have 662 amazing, beautiful, sweet, kind, loving members at A Little Scrap of Heaven. And it is absolutely my favorite place to be other than my home with my family because we're all sisters, we're all, you know, it's just like a big family. We're all there to support one another. We're all there to share our creations and have fun. Every Saturday we have a live crop. It is hosted by Laura. And she, you know, has challenges for layouts. But you can make anything you want. It's getting so big we're going to have to have two rooms from now on. Which is awesome. And sometimes throughout the week we pop in those tiny chats. And just visit one another and say hi. I also... Hope everyone checked out Nellie and her beautiful creation for A Little Scrap of Heaven because she is our um, she's our guest designer for March, our very first guest designer, um, and we're going to have a guest designer every month. And I also wanted to let you know that weekly I choose five different photos to feature on the website and five different videos to feature. And I will be uploading all the featured photos on LSH blog. So I will have a link to LSH blog. I will have a link to um, LSH website so that more people can join. Because it's, it's, if, if you want to be in a family, a humongous family, come on over and join. Free membership. Um, so if, uh, if I feature your photo, I will be uploading it on LSH um, website. I mean, vlog, LSH vlog. 
And then also we have an LSH YouTube where all the guest designers, all the administrators all have access to it so they can upload any videos, any information needed for swaps, anything that's going on with LSH will be uploaded there. Okay, so I will have all those links in the description. I want to thank everybody for being a subscriber, for commenting on my videos. I'm sorry I don't get back to all the comments, but I do read them, and I do love to... You guys are just so awesome to me. Also, my desk, I got asked many times. It's called an Easy View Desk. I purchased it from the, the original scrap box for $700, roughly. The top is not glass. It's acrylic. Um, and if I beat it up too much, I can also, I can always replace it with glass. So, I have my cutting board on the top to, you know, prevent too many, too many problems. But I've already got hot glue on it, and that comes off. So, anyway, love you all. Bye-bye.